Do any of you remember those Mickey Mouse cartoons from the 1930s? The ones that were just put on DVD a few years ago? Well, I hear that one was unreleased to even the most avid classic Disney fans. According to sources, it's nothing special. It's just a continuous loop, like the Flintstones, of Mickey walking past six buildings that goes on for two or three minutes before fading out. Unlike the cutesy tunes put in the cartoon, though, it's not like that at all. It's just a constant banging on a piano for a minute before the white noise comes in for the remainder of the film. It wasn't the jolly old Mickey we've come to love either. Mickey wasn't dancing, not even smiling. Just kind of walking, as if you and I were walking, with a normal facial expression. But for some reason, his head tilted to the side as he kept this dismal look. Up until a year or two ago, everyone believed that after it cut the black, that was it. When Leonard Moulton was reviewing the cartoon to put it in the complete series, he decided it was too junk to be on the DVD, but he wanted to have a digital copy due to the fact it was a creation by Walt. When he had digitalized the version up and the computer took the file, he noticed something. The cartoon was actually 9 minutes and 4 seconds long. This is what my source emailed me, in full. After it cut to black, it stayed until the sixth minute before back to Mickey walking. The sound was different this time. It was a murmur. It wasn't a language, but more like a gurgled cry as the noise got more indistinguishable and louder over the next minute. The picture began to get weird. The sidewalk started to go in directions that seemed impossible based off the physics of Mickey's walking. The dismal face of the mouse was slowly curling into a smirk. On the seventh minute, the murmur turned into a blood-curdling scream, and the picture was getting more and more obscure. Colors were happening that shouldn't have even been possible at the time. Mickey's face began to fall apart. His eyes rolled to the bottom of his chin like two marbles in a fishbowl, and his curled smile was pointing upward to the left side of his face. The buildings became a rubble, floating in midair and the sidewalk was still impossibly navigating in warped directions. A few seeming inconceivable with what we, as humans, know about direction. Mr. Moulton got disturbed and left the room, sending an employee to finish the video and take notes on everything happening up until the last second, and afterward immediately store the disc in the cartoon vault. The distorted screams lasted about eight minutes and a few seconds in. And then it abruptly cuts to Mickey Mouse's face at the credits at the end of every video. It sounded like a broken music box was playing in the background. This happened for about 30 seconds. And whatever was in the remaining 30 seconds, I haven't been able to get a sliver of information about. From a security guard working under me who was making rounds outside of the room. I was told after the last frame, the employee stumbled out of the room with pale skin saying, Real suffering is not known. He said that seven times before taking the guard's pistol out, offing himself on the spot. The thing I can get out of Leonard Moulton was that the last frame was a piece of Russian text that roughly said, The sights of hell brings its viewers back in. As far as I know, no one else has seen it. But there have been dozens of attempts on getting the file on rapid share by employees inside the studios all whom have been promptly terminated of their jobs. Whether it got online or not is up for debate, but if rumors serve me right, it's online somewhere under suicidemouse.avi. If you ever find a copy of this film, I want you to never view it, and to contact me by phone immediately, regardless of the time. When a Disney death is covered up as well as this, it means this has to be something huge. Please get back to me. I have yet to find a copy of this, but it's out there somewhere. I know it.